Yeah, so uh, 2012 Ram 1500, no start. I'm gonna scan it first, but I can see that the uh, security light was flashing when the key on go to try to start it. So this little red light down here, blink. I don't want. Um, so we got a no start right now. Uh, basically, got into the we got into the vehicle's uh, OBD port, scan it. Basically, found out that the PCM had no power. So uh, checked right at the PCM connection, had one volt, came over here to the bottom of the totally integrated power module to see what was coming out of the bottom of the, the tipum and point at it. Uh, this pin. The middle one? Yeah, this pin right here. What pin that, number is that? Uh, can't remember. I don't even know. Right. Yeah. Well, whatever. But anyhow, that goes, that red wire that's on the bottom of the blue connector here. Um, that feeds power to the PCM, so the PCM is offline right now. That's why it's not starting But uh, we'll clean it up a bit. You can see on the bottom inside of here that pin has some, some Corrosion in there. Oh, yeah, so that's a bad sign. It's probably in on the circuit board have to Well, we're back out of here. We got a truck that wouldn't start It's a 2011 Dodge Ram 1500 Laramie for the 5.7 we did get it running uh, what we found was uh, the PCM was offline we tried scanning it a couple scanners wouldn't hook up to it but we finally got it scanned um, ended up finding that on the bottom of the tipum there was uh, no power coming out of the bottom of the tipum uh, there was a blue connector sitting underneath on this side and it's uh, a red and black wire that sit beside each other uh, It was a red wire. can't quite remember which terminal or which uh, pin in the connector it is, but um, Yeah, went over to the PCM on this side And there's there's two powers. They they branch off from the tip them to this plug here and When you're looking at the plug, it's the top left and bottom right corner those two pins should be 12 volts all the time or battery voltage all the time so we only had 1.7 volts or so on it um, ended up looking into the bottom of the tipum and the problem was actually the tipum there was corrosion on the pin that comes out of the tipum to feed power to the wire going to the powertrain control module so yep just basically cut the wire off the bottom of the plug and ran it right to the battery um, there's a fuse underneath of there. We just threw the fuse in, uh, that was in here, 15 amp fuse. And confirm that it runs now. And yeah, we'll do a solid repair on that. Uh, make it a permanent fix.